Iran is the world's leading sponsor of terrorism, and yet we're making nice with them. It's crazy policy, right? Let's hear General Michael Flynn's analysis about Iran and what the United States should be doing. Let's talk a little bit about current events because your opinion is extraordinarily educated. You've been there, you've done that, you've seen it, and you've made the decisions. You're not a pundit sitting in the CNN tower. Let's start with Iran. Biden's embrace of Iran, reversing Trump's policies, are extraordinarily bizarre to me. It's as if we have Obama 2.0 in the White House, and maybe we do. We are releasing billions to them, ostensibly to rein in their nuclear program, which has had the absolute opposite effect. And not only are they rushing towards bombs and some people, and we have some mutual friends that are thinking they already have five or six weapons, but they don't have delivery systems figured out yet. What do you make of the United States sending so much money to Iran that Iran turns out and spends it on proxy armies that are fighting us, independent shipping, European lines all over the uh, Middle East, and hell-bent on destroying Israel from seven different directions. Yeah. And one of the things that I, I talked earlier today to a buddy, former military guy that I, I adore, I think he's wonderful, about, and I use the phrase, the enemy, our enemies have a vote, right? So we just saw Russia exercise their vote very, very publicly by planting parts of a naval offensive fleet right off the coast of southern southern United States, southern Florida, right? I mean, submarines, nuclear-capable submarines, and very offensive battleships, very, very, a very strong naval presence. That's, that's an enemy that looks at everything that's happening to them in, in Eastern Europe and says, you know what? We're done me- you know, messing around in, in uh, Ukraine. We're going to come over to your neighborhood. Now, let's talk, to, let's talk about Iran. Iran, and, and you know, when you talk about nuclear weapons capable uh, country, you, you're right, you're right. You've got to have not only the, the warhead, and then you've got to have the missile to mate those up. Then you've got to be able to do the testing. You know, so you test the nuclear capability, you test it on the ground, you test it underground. You know, then, then you make the two, and now, now you try to, you know, you try to, you know, launch one, right? And you test it in your own, in your own neighborhood before you, before in your own country, before you you know decide that you can show it to the world and go, okay, we're now nuclear capable. Well, well, we under the Obama administration, okay, before Trump, they were giving Iran the absolute authority to be able to have a nuclear weapon. Under the O Biden administration, and I use that very precisely, under the O Biden administration, they are continuing to kowtow to the number one state sponsor of terrorism. That's Iran. All the money that we give to Iran, all the money, it is going into someone's pocket. It is going to Hamas. It is going to Hezbollah. It is going to the Houthi rebels. It is going to this to elements in Syria. I mean, so the money. So essentially, the United States of America, for your audience, um, we are paying for the entire war in the Middle East because we also give. Although we stopped giving. Uh, a lot of you know great support and capabilities to Israel because of the horrific relationship and and what this administration is trying to do to Israel. To be, I think I think Israel Israel should not rely on this administration. Israel is going to have to rely on Israel right now, and and they've always been good at that. But they they're gonna but they know that they can't rely on this administration. They they still have to kind of you know speak with us and talk with us because we have different things going on. But they're going to have to rely on Israel. Because the, the, the money that the American people, we, the U.S. taxpayer, are paying into uh, federal taxes, those dollars are going over to Iran. Iran is then giving them to Hamas, got, you know, PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, Hezbollah, the Houthis. I mean, they're, we're paying for this whole conflict over in the Middle East, all sides. And we're allowing Iran to have a nuclear weapon. I mean, how insane is that? It, that it, that makes no sense at all. You know, you would you would think that a psychopath 
is is running our country or or worse somebody who hates america is in charge of america right now and i don't believe it's biden i don't believe that biden hates america i don't believe that biden knows what which end is up i mean i really think that his his cognitive decline is in such a such a state right now that they, that they're they're there's no longer fooling it fooling the american people so who the hell is in charge of the decisions being made by the U.S. government right now. Personally, that's why I said, oh, oh, Biden, right? I say Barack Obama, Barack Obama is on, as he said, I, I would love to be able to basically be a president, but not have all of the problems. And I'd be down in my basement and I'd be pulling the strings, right? I, so, I think you're right. I think that's exactly what's happening. It, it really is. And then, and there, and you know, there is somebody above him. There's this globalist body of people and there's a global alliance that has formed against the united states of america and this globalist body is the world economic forum and they they have names and faces there are countries that are that are behind them but i do think what's happened what i do strongly believe is what is happening is american people and i think a lot of the people around the world are starting to wake up to this to their arrogance <laughs>